In lesson four, we're going to talk about positive and negative numbers that go along with real world situations. So we can use a positive, oops, that's not what I wanted. We can use a positive and a negative rational number to describe real world situations, such as elevations above and below sea level. So you're going to see this phrase a lot, above and below sea level. You can also use these numbers to describe temperatures, sports, statistics, as well as bank deposits and withdrawals. When I um, deposit money, if I deposit money into my bank account, that means I am adding money into my account. So that's going to be a positive. If I withdraw money from my account, that means I'm taking money out. So that would be a negative. If I'm withdrawing money from my, my account, I am taking money out. So we're going to write a positive or negative rational number for each real world situation. And I'm going to underline the phrase for you. A depth of 252 feet below sea level. So if I'm below sea level, I'm going down. I'm going farther down. So this is going to be a negative 252. And some of these phrases will repeat. Okay, so you'll, you'll know if it's positive or negative. A height of 50.9 meters above sea level. Above sea level means it's going up. So that's going to be a positive 50.9. A temperature of 6 degrees below zero. Think of that um, thermometer and temperature. If something is below zero, that's going to be a negative 6. So when you see wind chills that are below zero, those always have a negative sign with them. Number four, a temperature of 70.5 degrees above zero. So if something's above zero, that's going to be a positive, so 70.5. A loss of 10 yards in a football game. If you lose 10 yards in a football game, that's going to be a negative 10. If you gain 5.5 yards in a football game, if you gain something, that's going to be a positive. So that's a positive 5.5. Number seven, a bank deposit of $1,000. So I have a deposit here. So that's going to be a positive $1,000. And number eight, a bank withdrawal of $100. That means I'm taking out $100. So that would be a negative $100. The next part says determine the absolute value of each distance, then tell which distance is farther from sea level and explain your reasoning. Number nine says a fish swimming at negative three meters or a mosquito flying at seven meters. So I have negative three and positive seven. Okay, they want to know um, which one is farther from sea level. Well, which one is bigger? So I know here that seven is my bigger number. And I know that 7 is greater than negative 3. And I also know that the absolute value of negative 3 equals a positive 3. Number 10, a submarine at negative 6,539 meters or a helicopter at 4,250 meters. So my negative 6,539 meters, which I forgot to tell you on number nine, when we're finding our negative absolute value, that turns into a positive. So when you're looking for which number is bigger or less, we're, you have to do the absolute value part first. So now that I have the absolute value of negative 6,539, I know that positive 6,539 is greater than 4,250. 
On the practice page 11 through 14, you are going to find the absolute value and then tell which distance is farther from sea, sea level. So we're going to use greater than or less than. So on number 11, a scuba diver at negative 60.5 meters or a bird at 160 meters. So the first thing you have to do is take your negative 60.5 and find the absolute value for that. So we're going to turn that into a positive 60.5. And now you have to think is a positive 60.5. So 60 and a half, is that greater than or less than 160? So 60 and a half would be less than 160. So you would put in a less than sign there. Number 12, the deepest point in Earth's ocean at negative 10,994 meters or the highest point on Earth at 8,848 meters. So again, you have to take your, find your absolute value for your negative number. So negative 10,994 is going to turn into a positive number. So it's a positive 10,994 greater than or less than 8,848. So I would put in a greater than sign here. So this one has two steps. You're turning the negative into a positive for its absolute value. And then you're telling me if it's greater than or less than. So don't forget your greater than or less than symbol. Uh, down at the bottom, we have to read each problem, and they want us to solve it. So on number 15, it says Monday's coldest temperature was negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Tuesday's coldest temperature was negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit. On which day was the temperature colder? So in this problem, you need to think about which number is farther away from zero. So if you think about a number line, so I will try drawing one here. Here's my number line. Here's zero. Remember your negative numbers are on the less than on the left side. So one, two, three, four, five. So my negative three degrees would be right here and negative five degrees would be right there. So which one would be colder? The one closer to zero or the one farther away from zero? So for number 15, you would just type in Monday. On number 16, Dion and Anita went scuba diving. Dion dove to a depth of negative 8,100 feet. Anita dove to a depth of negative 9,400 feet. Who dove to a greater depth? So who dove farther, Dion or Anita? So you're going to pick... If Dion went farther or Anita. Number 17, Jamal's score in a game of miniature golf is negative 8. Susan's score is negative 6. The winner of the game will be the golfer with the lower score. Who is winning the game so far? So Jamal has a score of negative 8. And Susan has a score of negative 6. And in the game of golf, the person with the lower score is winning. So on number 17, you're going to tell me if Jamal is winning or if Susan is winning. Again, think of a number line here. And who is going to be farthest to the left? So the one farther away from 0. And we are not going to do the reflect. On your slide number three, on one through five, you just have to tell me if that is talking about a positive real world situation or a negative real world situation. And you're going to want to pay attention to um, the keywords. So number one, if it's below zero. On number two, if it's above sea level. On number three, a debt of $50. So if you have a debt of $50, would that be um, a positive 50 or a negative 50? On number four, 
a loss in points. And number five, a temperature of 60.8 degrees above zero. So is above zero gonna be a positive or negative number? So you're gonna write um, the actual number and if it's negative, just make sure you have a negative sign in front of it. On six through 10, you just have to solve each problem. So on number six, it says the bottom of a well is at negative 60 feet and the top of a flagpole is at 35 feet. Which distance is farther from sea level? So think which um, number here is farther away from zero. So you're either gonna tell me negative 60 or 35. On number seven, while scuba diving, Tyler dove to a depth of negative 3,500 feet. Marta dove to a depth of negative 4,200 feet. Who dove the greater depth? So they wanna know who dove deeper into the water. So you're gonna tell me Tyler or Marta. These um, questions are very similar to the ones that we just did. Um, just make sure you are reading them correctly.